Hey everybody, this is Lori Broccoloni, the Certified Equine Holistic Practitioner. And today we're going to talk about becoming an equine practitioner. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my screen share and I'm going to show you my slides and go over it for those wanting to be and learn um, how you can work with horses and how you can have a career in this too. Um, it's definitely needed in the horse industry. So let's go to screen share. I hope you can hear me okay. And I hope you can see me okay. It's kind of sunny here. So I just want to get this done and let me see if I can share it and present to everyone. Okay. Okay, so there's my screen. Alrighty, I'm hoping that you guys can see it. I'm sure you can. Anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and start. I know your time is valuable and I really appreciate you watching this and coming to my website and learning more about it. Okay, horses, um, especially in today's society, I see more and more of them, especially at shows and at events. Um, horses are in pain and the owners are unaware of it. So you can help horses today and anybody can do this from the age of 18 on. Um, anybody can learn how to do this. And the reason why I'm certifying people is because the horse world needs this. So a little bit about me. I went to school about 13, 14 years ago. I think about 13 years ago um, with Holistic Therapies Tall Grass Institute. And my teacher is Dr. Julie Montgomery, and that's who I learned from mostly. I also took more classes with Dr. Ted Mortar and Animal Best, and um, did a lot of I work with Dr. Carmen. He is a chiropractor, but I don't use it. And I used stress point therapy with Jack McGregor, even though he's passed away. I'm pretty self-taught, but I've taken many, many classes in Reiki, energy work, um, essential oils, uh, homeopathy, herbs, and um, my latest one is the Matrix, Trapped Emotions, and um, just a lot of therapies that I integrate with the program. So Mary Schreiber, all you massage therapists, they know her. Um, she's famous for teaching equisage. Um, I met her at the track actually, and she begged me because I worked on her horses. Now she's a massage therapist, but she was not getting the pain points. And so I went to her place and I taught her how to do it. And um, it was amazing. She was really, really impressed. And Guy McLean, he is not impressed with my system, mainly because he's been attacked by the media and people around him. Even though his horses are in extreme pain, they were out of pain for a while. And it did work, and he did buy the book. The problem was he did not want to change his, his horse's diets, and nor did he want to listen to any advice I was giving him on to why the horses, his horses, were constantly being put out. Um, now, the one that did listen to me is uh, Pat Pirelli's Stallion Casper. Now, Casper had everybody... Linda said everybody in the world worked on that horse. I mean, everybody. We're talking laser, everything. And he was coming to my area. And so I was going to go down there and put that poor little horse's withers back in. And it was just a simple technique. And Linda was telling me all about his withers and how they had been x-rayed and how they had been infrared. So what happened was I walked right over and sure enough, his withers were out. And I easily put them back in. And when I put them back in, Casper just actually, he automatically, and we didn't have it videotaped, he, he dropped his head and he blew out. Like, finally, somebody figured it out. And Pirelli is writing him now. She does have the book. I gave her the book and the DVD. And so I don't know if they practice this. But they're the only ones that I have found. There's two trainers in the whole world industry um, that I have found maybe – Maybe there's others that I haven't come across, but a good trainer is what you want to look for. He wants to make sure that horse is out of pain first before you work on it. 
and the Pirellis do that. They do make sure that their horses are out of pain first and that there's nothing going on with them, ulcer-wise, arthritis-wise, all kinds of issues. And they don't mask their horses. They don't use a lot of uh, pharmaceutical drugs or things like that. So, and the other one is Carol Resnick. And um, there's some others, but not the big name ones, guys. Not the big one. The big name ones, their horses are out. I mean, when I say out, that means her horse is in nerve ending stress related pain. And this is what I teach people how to release and get the horse back into balance so the horse is not in pain. So I've helped hundreds of horse owners around the world in workshops and just with my book, um, teaching them this method. Um, I'm also an equine clinician at Area Horse Expos. And again, I got my a certification in tall grass and acupuncture, acupressure, excuse me, acupressure. And uh, that was, um, I don't use it. Sometimes I do, but it's rare. I use the stress points if um, I can't um, alleviate the, uh, after the horse is balanced. So you can see this is one of my practitioners that sent in one of our case studies. You can see the horse's head tie. His back is, is draped lower. Um, and the reason why they stand up is they're trying to get, you know, their heads are up and, and, and most people ride them like this. I mean, we're talking about 90% of the United States. I mean, people in general, I mean, they just do not check their horses for pain points. And this is why I need practitioners out there. I can't do it all. Okay. So quickly she went ahead and put the horse back in. This is her before picture, which you would have to do. Take a picture before and make sure the head's the same way. And this is after. Now this only took her like 15, 20 minutes. And you can see the difference. The horse is relaxed, his eyes calmer, his back is raised, and he's more balanced. He's more balanced. Now over here is, here's a normal horse that I took off the internet. And his withers are way up and they're pointed this way. His hips are misaligned. In fact, you can actually see them. Um, and he's standing wide apart um, to try and get in. So he's hind in weakness. His digestion, he's got a little bit of ribs going on there, front shoulder. See how much bigger the front shoulder is? You don't want to see that in a horse. You want the you want the butt bigger than the than the chest. Okay, you see that? See so that's that's bigger than this. And now afterwards, this is bigger. That's what you want to see. And that front rib is what you have to learn how to put um back in. And it's and it's just a stress point, it's not a chiropractic move. Okay, so and you do this all with your hands. So let's see. So this is my book, How to Identify and Release Your Horse's Pain Points. And this is what you get in the certification course with the DVDs. And you get advanced DVDs and you get the stress points and the raindrop DVD and um, two CDs on minerals and herbs. And you can see this horse flipped. Now this horse probably got massaged afterwards, maybe a chiropractor. But I guarantee you, you can prevent stuff like this from happening. You can prevent energy. I mean, um, accidents horse accidents and injuries to your horses if you learn how to balance the horse before you ride it it's simple and it's easy to do and the racehorse industry horses like this one i mean his muscles are real tight but you know you can see the back leg here now you can't see it because you don't have the eyes to see it but that's what i do as i teach you to see the eyes i mean he's basically he's pushing off with this leg but um I mean, his hips are probably out. Most likely they're out and he's all muscled up, probably on steroids and horses are in pain and they have no way of telling you, no way of telling you, but they do tell you, you just have to be aware of it by checking them. Okay. So this is one of my students. Now she didn't get the horse's nose completely straight, but as you can see, um, I guess they tried to hold it and take a picture, but she was like really impressed. Now I taught her and she became certified. Um, I think she was out in Wisconsin or Minnesota. She was out, it was very cold and very snowy that day. So she took a picture of this horse and you can see this nostril is bigger than this one. Okay, this one's, it's misaligned. They're not balanced. And so after she did the pain point, even though he has this white snip here, you can see that they went asymmetrical. I mean, they're balanced now. So the horse actually is telling you when he's unbalanced, when, he's not um when the nostrils are not perfectly aligned they have to be perfectly aligned the horse is telling you and that's in the eyes too now this is a horse here now this is before the big sky and that was the day i start i worked um 
up to a barn like I did it like 15 horses and it was a horse rescue type therapy program this horse was 17 years old okay she had him birthed him as a baby this was her love of her life he was actually shutting down she would have lost this horse I mean he would have just he would have been gone in about six months if she had kept on the program and she went on my program we released the pain point release and this was him seven weeks later same horse you couldn't take her off of the nutrition program or the herbal program that I put her on she absolutely loves it all the horses are thriving there at her stables it was was it easy for her to do with vets around no it wasn't it really wasn't but now the vets see it at her place and they're really really pleased with the outcome the horses are healthier and she doesn't have to spend any more money on vet bills and this is what you guys get to do you get to help horse owners help their horses okay so what if you could restore and balance a horse just by using your hands what if you could learn how to rebuild a horse to his fullest potential just by using natural remedies and nutrition that works okay what if you could but you can I'm here to tell you you can do it okay I've done it many of I have over um, I think I have like 30 practitioners but I only have like 10 of them that are actually doing it um, and it's up to the individual person I will tell you personally there was 15 people in my class when I first went to school uh, 12 years ago in in Florida my teacher was in Florida at the time and she told us she said there was only going to be one person that's going to be like her and she didn't know which one out of the class was going to be it and here I am that's the person everybody else you know they spent over I think it was twenty five twenty eight hundred dollars to take the course and I mean you learned a ton you slept and ate with my teacher and you learned everything about helping a horse um, nutritionally balancing the horse all kinds of energy work raindrop therapy nutritional wet, um, therapies herbal therapies essential oils homeopathy even Bach flowers um, it was a, an intense course and all those people do not use it to this day only one out of her class makes it okay and the other one is April battles she, that's the one she's one of my colleagues she did not take we didn't take the class together but we took the same classes so let's think about this there's over 70% of horse owners that live in communities of 50,000 or less of horses there are horses in every state 45 states have at least 20,000 horses each the study concludes that there are 9.2 million horses in the United States including horses that are used for racing showing competing sport breeding recreational and work and with only about six there's only about 62,000 veterinarians in the USA and about 20% of them only do your large animals and out of that only 10% Oh, I don't have it. It's our, um, let me fix that there. <laughs> our um, chiropractors, equine chiropractors, that going into 9.2 million horses. You can't do all the horses in the world if you wanted to. So that's why this is poorly, poor, this is poorly needed. I mean, there's not enough to help horses. Equine body workers are needed now. Okay, guys? So even though I'm not teaching you equine chiropractic I am teaching you equine body balancing that is non-evasive and uses just your hands to find the pain points on the horse and then release them for instant results you are not going to find this training anywhere else except in, from my teachers Dr. Julie Montgomery and Dr. Regan Golob and of course other people that teach it like April Battles I don't know of anybody else so this is me checking um excuse me checking the pain points by checking your horse's withers you can prevent rearing biting bucking unhappy horse okay you can prevent all that okay just by learning to release and balance your horse just with the withers and you won't believe how easy it is to put back in and i call it put back in but it's just a it's just a non-invasive um stretch a body stretch that you do and it's very easy to do and then you recheck okay um, so this is a testimonial from one of my um, clients that just bought the book she did not become a practitioner my horse was high strung didn't want to be touched on his back too much I'd get on him and he would buck a bit right he would buck right 
away. His gait was off. The pasture, in the pasture, I would watch him lift his back leg up all the time like he was in pain. I have spent thousands of dollars trying to get my horse fixed between vets, chiropractors, energy healers, anything I can find to figure out his pain. And nothing worked. He even had shots put in his stifles. Now, I think her horses were young, but I'm not sure. I happened to stumble across Lori's website and watched the videos and ordered her book that same night. Once I got it and read it right away, my husband and I went out to use her pain point checks and releases. He was out in every pain point but his neck. It was amazing. She said anybody could do this, and she was right. My horse changed overnight. He was not flinching in his withers anymore, and I can touch his back without him moving away from me. He was the calmest he has ever been. I will be ever for grateful for that I have found Lori's site. It's so easy that it makes me want to work on him every day. If you have any horse issues, I recommend this highly. Um, of course, the horse's teeth needed to be done. So needless to say, um, she had to call a dentist. So she thanked me for sharing her knowledge. Now, this is eight bell. She had to be put down in the Kentucky Derby. I think she finished second, um, and then she was put down. You know, they got paid. You know, as long as they cross the finish line, it doesn't matter if they live or die. They get paid. So if she didn't cross this finish line, they wouldn't have gotten paid. But this could all have been prevented if they would have checked the um, suspensory point, which is located right here. If you can see, this is a suspensory point. And you learn this in my Equine Natural Remedies book. And if they had pushed on her right before the race, right before the groom, if he had pushed there and she would have flinched, they could have checked her legs below her knee. That's where the point is. And they would have felt something wrong there. They could have detected it. You also get a dousing rod in your kit too. I forgot to mention that. You get a dousing rod and a pendulum in your kit. I'm going to have to put that in there. So anyway, so this is a horse being saddled. So of course his head's going to be flown up because his withers are out. Honey, you guys, this is so easy to put back in. Okay. So you can help horses today. What you need to, what you need to learn is an attitude of self-discipline. You need 10 horses to work on for your case studies, a camera, video, learn how to video and put on YouTube or Dropbox. It's easy now. They make it really simple. You can even do it in the um, drive, the Google drive. You have to have a willingness to learn outside of the box of wellness. I am non-conventional, meaning I don't teach conventional um, wellness at all. I'm all about herbs and I'm all about nutrition and I'm all about holistic energy healing and, and teaching you the same thing. Those are your bonuses. That's not just the pain points. You have you can work at your own pace, but the sooner the better, so you can get out there and start making money. It's really not that hard. I've had students do it in a week or two. Um, the ones that do it in a week or two, they usually go on to do really great things, and they they earn their money back in record time. Horse rescues are the best place to learn and practice. Um, our therapy centers that have a lot of horses. Those are the easiest places to get your 10 horses and they are more than happy to let you work on their horses. Okay. So what you get in your certification class. Okay. The cost is $350. It went up from $300 because I'm adding more things to the kit because when you start working on horses, what you're going to find is you're going to find, you're going to find that not only are the pain point releases put back in, you're going to find other issues with the horses. And so instead of contacting me or trying to figure it out, all you do is just go through the natural equine remedies book and you learn from the advanced DVD um, that I send you with your kit and your information chart. And you, and you learn how to muscle test and use kineology to find out what is going on with the horse. But you're not diagnosing. You're just letting them know and then have them call their vet if there's an issue that you can't resolve. Okay. And so you will learn the organ reflexology point, mostly the liver and the heart and the um, digestion point. You will learn that. You will learn the ulcer points. You will learn where the kidney points are. Okay. And what releases them, what helps them, what helps the horse um, with the um, blocked energy of the kidney and the liver points, what's blocking it, you know, usually it's vaccines or chemical warmers. Okay, so you're going to learn that. You're going to learn um, what clears it. 
okay and it's not woo woo this is this is proven science I've learned this all in my in my classes so um, the acupressure points for nutrition and wellness too you'll learn that in the advanced DVD so by releasing the pain points you'll be able to teach owners how to reduce energies and and improve performance and wellness now your bonuses are you get the stress point DVD from Jack McGregor and the chart the chart comes with it you get the raindrop DVD using essential oils the chart instructions plus your ting points you learn where the ting points are the ting points are important to learn because if a horse is shutting down you've got to learn how to bring those ting points up and what oils to put on them of course you get the um, natural equine remedies book and DVDs on on well it's a CD on minerals from Andy Miller you get charts on the equine anatomy and cheat sheets um, these are all added to your just regular equine practitioners um, work class book you know your your whole kit so you also get the advanced one um, and consulting up to six months it's best to be 18 years old and older and you must be able to use the computer a lot of people don't know how but you can get a friend to do it and then this is a picture of the some of the charts um, these are the homeopathic cheat sheet this is the pain point DVD this is the mineral one and the equine remedies and then your chart over here on what the owner like lots of times people need a chart to see what the owners are giving and what they're doing with their horses like as chemical warmers what feed they're feeding so so what's stopping you so what's stopping you become you know if you love working with horses and you love helping people and um, you want a career in horses you know what's stopping you so I do have to point out that this certificate is a completion is used as a legal document that a contractor person in study completes the requirements um, for a clear form of communicate the equine that you can communicate equine pain point release Lori does I don't practice veterinary medicine at all and you cannot diagnose so once you're certified you'll be listed as an equine practitioner on my site on my website which I am number one on Google and you and I um, will also put you in the Facebook um, group equine it's a private health group so people if they have our practitioners if they have any questions they can be answered or case studies that need to be resolved okay I've paid over twenty thousand dollars in my education over the last 12 years learning how to help people help their horses and help you um, 350 is a bargain for you to help horses all over the world Equisaw, equine massage therapists benefit from this training too because instead of massaging the horse for an hour they can check their pain points release the horse and then if and then they can find the stress points of Jack McGregor and figure out if the horse needs more release in some of his muscles a lot of the barrel racers do a lot of jumpers do um, and then they can have their massage stuff. so it's extra money for them too so I hope you uh, come on board and become an equine practitioner um, again you will get a probably just pendulum I can do this and a dousing rod in your kit too okay pendulum and dousing rod in your kit too and then and then you will be sent a video showing you how to use the dousing rod okay so hope this works let me go back here to um stop screen sharing all right let me see if I'm back okay I'm back all right so I hope that I hope that answers all you, most of your questions if you have any more you can go to my site at happynaturalhorse.com and check me out under certification I hope you do come on board also you can also email me at naturalhorselb at gmail.com or what you can do is find me on Facebook I'm always on Facebook Lori Broccoloni and natural equine remedies I have a fan page and a page site there natural equine remedies so okay so I hope I if you have any questions let me know have a great day and hope hope you come on board we really need some practitioners bye